a page showing all of our stops. And this sort of page, the way we did it is a, a little bit difficult to do. It's now fairly easy to do it with some slight modifications to, to what you see here using uh, Google. So actually, let me ask you guys some questions so I can get a sense of where you're at. Um, how many people have maps of their stops online that they're reasonably happy with? So not, not too many hands at all. Um, how many people are familiar with Google Maps for other purposes besides, all right, just about everybody. Okay, a few things to know about Google Maps are, um, there's a few tools here. There's um, north, east, west, south arrows that allow you to scroll, plus and minus, which allow you to zoom in and out, and then various views, and we'll look at all of that. But it's a, it's a pretty simple interface, and it's modifiable. It doesn't always have to look like that. Um, this is what, what we have, shows all of our stops, and if, if this were a live connection, and I can show you later because our internet is working, if you were to mouse over one of those stops, it would give you the specific times, specific days, uh, and the name of the stop with the link to get a more specific map. So if you mouse over, you can see that uh, this particular, my son calls these raindrops, I guess they're upside down raindrops, but YMCA, if you were to click on that, it would take you to a specific map of that stop. And if we zoom in, and you would do that by clicking on the little plus here, you can zoom in on that stop. On this previous slide, you can't really tell how to get there. So you zoom in on that, on that specific dot, and now you can see the specific street names. These street names start to appear as you get closer and closer. The resolution increases in the street names, and at a certain uh, zoom factor, auto